Hello everyone, Captain Horn here. Welcome back to another Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020 video. I hope you enjoy watching and maybe even learn a thing or two from this video. Before we begin, if you would like to see more Microsoft Flight Simulator content, please consider subscribing to my channel. It takes less than 5 seconds and it would greatly help my channel out. If you are interested in supporting myself and my channel, be sure to check out the different tiers in my Patreon for different rewards. If you are interested in becoming an active member in my community, or would like to find others to fly with in Microsoft Flight Simulator, feel free to join my Discord server. The link to both my Patreon and Discord is in the description. Let's get right into this video. Alright guys, so in today's video we are going to be attempting to fix the stuttering and even some FPS drops with the uh, new Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020. Now, myself, I was having a lot of issues with stuttering it would just get really bad you know i'd be running at like 60 fps or more and then it would just drop to 15 fps and i just tried this and flew through new york city and it it did make a difference there was not much stuttering at all and i was on ultra settings which is something that i really don't do i i use ultra settings but i do turn some things down so this is a pretty easy and simple thing to do and for the most part, it did appear to fix my stuttering and maybe even increase my FPS a little bit. So all we're going to need to do is download a program called Process Lasso, and it's a free program, and it optimizes your CPU, and you can change things about certain games, which is exactly what we're going to do with it. So all you have to do is hit the download button here. The link to this will be in the description. And then you simply install it, and it will look something like this. Now, don't worry, it may look a little complex, but we only have to do one thing before we get in the game and one thing after. So make sure Microsoft Flight Simulator is not currently running. And once you've done that, you need to come up here to Main in Process Lasso in the very top left and disable this Pro Balance right here. Just simply click it, and that is a one-time thing. You do not have to do that anymore. All right, next, if you are running through Steam and you want an FPS counter, I don't know if you know, guys knew this, but... All you have to do is come up here to the Steam in the top left again, go to Settings, come three down to this In-Game tab, and then we have In-Game FPS Counter, and you can either decide if you want it in your top right or left, or bottom right or left. And I recommend checking this high contrast color because it is a very tiny number and it's in a grayish color, and checking this makes it kind of greenish, so it's a lot easier to see, but that is purely up to preference. And after you've done that, we can head on into the game and I'll show you guys what to do from there. Alright guys, once we are in the actual main menu, we need to do one more thing. Now I did see this on a Reddit thread, and credit is due, so the link to that Reddit thread will be in the description, and apparently, you need to wait until you are on this, the actual main menu, not the loading screen with the TBM and the background, um, you know, with the loading bar loading into this screen, because apparently if you do this step while that is happening, then your computer will just crap itself essentially and crash. So once you are in the actual main menu just like this, what you need to do is Alt-Tab into Process Lasso or hit Windows Key D and open it just like that. But anyway, once you are in Process Lasso, what we need to do is actually find FlightSimulator.exe and it's going to be kind of under all these chromes, but like, just excuse this, I have a bunch of tabs open, which is an FPS killer by the way, but that's besides the point. Right here is FlightSimulator.exe, obviously in the Fs, and what we want to do is right click on it, go to Priority Class, and go to Current and disable Windows Dynamic Thread Priority Boost Enabled. Simply click on it, and I like to double check that it is not active, and it is not. Now you do not want to use the Always button, you want to always leave this on, because like I just said, if you start the game with the Priority Class Always off, right here, the Windows Dynamic Thread, then your computer will crash. Uh, apparently, I've not tested this, but that is the word around the block. Alright, but anyway, once you have done that, what we're going to do is I'm actually going to load into um, LaGuardia Airport, and we're going to see if I get any stutters. Alright guys, right out of the gate on the runway, you can see up here in my top left that I am averaging around 40 frames per second. Now this is with clouds and New York City in the skyline, and I will go to my settings and show to you that I do have everything on Ultra settings currently everything is to the max essentially other than the render scaling but that's just ridiculous because if I crank this up to 200 then it will just crap out um, and it, it would just not it'd be terrible I'd be getting like 10 frames per second but anyway with everything ultra and we got clouds in the sky and the skyline in our horizon 
I am getting wonderful frames, no stutters yet at all. So I'm going to go ahead and take off just to see if we get any stutters. I love the pits. If you guys haven't tried to fly the pits yet, it is, it's a very fun aircraft. I mean, you can do a lot with this plane. I mean, you can just do this right here. It's amazing. But anyway, yes, as you can see, we are getting very smooth FPS currently right now. We're getting 35, which is totally doable for a flight simulator. And I mean, again, this is with ultra settings and New York City just right there. That's pretty impressive. And clouds in the sky. Clouds are a pretty large frame hit as well, if you guys didn't know. All right, so what I'm going to do is actually slew all the way over to New York City. And now, obviously, we're getting a little bit of frame drops right there, but it's only because, you know, I came over here so quickly and everything's got to load in. But that didn't take that long, and we are still getting around 30 frames per second. And just check this out, guys. I mean, whenever I'd come here in the past, it would be very stuttery and just, like, almost unplayable. And that wasn't even on ultra settings, but this is now on ultra settings. And everything looks really good. And it's not stuttering at all. And this is what I was talking about with that process lasso. It's just a really simple trick that can easily increase your frames and just totally reduce your stuttering. I mean, these buildings look phenomenal. This is ultra settings. Here's the Empire State Building, and I'm not getting any stutters whatsoever. So yeah, that one little simple trick in process lasso has really improved the stuttering. Um, I just thought I'd make this quick little video showing that and hopefully help other people because I mean for the most part it is definitely working. Like I said before without this trick I would be getting some really crappy frames and some terrible stutters before this little trick. So I hope this helps somebody out um, or multiple people. But that's going to do it for this video, guys. Uh, be on the lookout for some more tips and tricks about Microsoft Flight Simulator and uh, tutorials and live streams. And as always, I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day. And I will see you guys on the next video.